Hi everyone, it's me, Pluto. Today, I just, I just wanted to come by and clarify the definitions of socialized medicine and, and, and the practice of medicine on the socials. So, so in a nut house, in a socialized medicine system, the government controls the delivering, financing, and allocating of the health cares. It's really, 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 really important not to confuse socialized medicine with the brand new practice of the socials medicine, which is the uncontrolled health cares provided by random people and financed by ads that often seem to feature earwax or bananas. I, 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 I mean, it used to be in the olden time days ago that to practice medicine, you had to go to university and do lots and lots of sciences. And then, and then you had to go to medical school and then you had to be a resident. And then, and then you spent time being an intern and you worked, you worked around the clock and you lived in green scrubs and then you were a fully educated doctor. Whew, that was quite a rigmarole. But, 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 but this, this rigorous education apparently doesn't apply to the socials medicine. I, I, I did some vocational researches to determine what, what, what exactly the requirements seem to be. So, so, so say you want to become an epidemiologist or an infectious disease specialist of the socials medicine. Well, 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 there seem to be five skill sets you have to master. Number one. You, ha you, you have to be able to combine a minimum of two unsubstantiated statistics in one full dramatic sentence with, with, with or without proper punctuation, okay? Two, you have to be able and willing to widely share articles with alarming headlines, but, but, but you don't actually have to read them. You, you just share them, okay? Three, it's really, really, really important you display commenting confidence. Like, 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 like you have to be confident in delivering your diagnosis in a comment to someone you've never met who didn't ask for it. So you, you should also be able to tweet them their medical treatment plan in 280 characters or less. Okay? Four, you seem to need expert psychological profiling skills. So, so, so when you're challenged and confronted with substantiated and verified facts by some random untrained person in the social medicines, you can belittle and dismiss them after a quick profiling assessment of their little tiny picture, okay? And five, the last one, you are able to emphatically communicate and defend your medical opinions with the proper use of emojis. I, I mean, personally, I, I, try, I try to limit my opinions to what I'm knowledgeable about, like random absurdities or argument starters or snacks and snores and gentle, gentle sarcastic humors. But, 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 but I must say, based on my personal, unverifiable observational research, it, 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 it certainly does appear that many of the two-legged smarties do not place limitations on their opinion making based on something as flimsy as knowledge. I'm just saying, you might want to work on that. So, so, so everyone, with so much going on in our crazy world these days, it's really important that you be thoughtful and thorough with your information collecting and sharing. I mean, I mean, your thinking box should not be treated like a trash can. So, so, so have a really great day, everyone. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> See you soon.